Yes, dude, give me some of them. Save the freaking day with that one. Thank you, Lord, we have survived the day. Because <laughs> the first half was not good. And tell me about today, man. All right, so Lake St. Clair looks like we're going to have pretty good conditions today. Pretty excited about that because it was rough for the past two days. But basically, all I'm doing here is I'm getting in these big expansive flats and I'm fishing around and then after you get a better quality bite, kind of mill around that area a little bit. But very tough to come by those three and three quarter or bigger fish this week. So whenever you get it, get around one, usually there's a couple more pretty close. So that's what we're gonna try to do today is get lucky, get a couple of those big bites and stay in the area and try to capitalize. This right here is a new bait. This is the Crush City BLT. And I like it because when it's on the bottom, it floats. So you ain't gotta, you ain't gotta hold your line tight, it kinda floats better. Day one, Lake St. Clair. Starts here about 30 or 40 minutes probably, so I mean, this lake is a factory for smallmouth. This week you get a ton of bites, mostly, you know, small ones, three pounders or less, but some big ones mixed in. So hopefully today we catch a couple of those big, big ones, and then some a little closer to four, because that's what you need here. The mark here is 20 pounds to do well in the tournament. Probably 18 a day, maybe 18 and a quarter a day to get a check, and you know, 20 or 21 a day to really stay up there towards the top, you know, 15 or 20 probably. So, it's plan for today. We're just gonna work hard, live around a lot, see if we can catch them. Let me know. A three-time Elite Series champion. That one's a little bit better. Got us a three and a half pounder. There was like three with it and they were all bigs. Man, I don't freaking know. I can't tell which one's bigger for nothing. Whoa. 
masih hidup. Get in here real quick. Oh, I hit my rod on that. He ran up to it and I seen him, but he didn't eat it initially. So I'll put him in there. We got, we ain't got no weight though. I don't know how big he needs to be. Don't move. the one I need. It was a three six, I think. Three eight. Three eight. It's definitely bigger than that one. That's the reason we're out here, right there, dude. That's it. That's the reason we're out here deep deep. Cause that is a full grown one. Yeah, see that one with it? It's almost as big. Let me get you in this boat. It's a big one right there. I'm playing it. Well, you can tell I'm playing it a lot different than all them little ones. Finesse, Stop moving. 
Yes, dude, give me some. Save the freaking day with that one. Look at that sucker. Full grown, baby. Now we can start the freaking party. Just took a long time. It's gotta be a four pounder. Yes. How about that for a trade? That's a good trade up. Put that in the way. It was like four and a half. Four and a half. Good call, man. And that was a two seventy-five or something, two seventy. Thank you, Lord, we have survived the day. Because the first half was not good, but we survived. and it was not where a large mouth supposed to be. But, so we started off on a place where I thought it'd be easy to catch like three and a half pounders and have a shot at some big ones. And never had a bite. Ran to another spot, never had a bite. Then ran to my third spot, caught, finally caught a three pounder. And I ran around with two fish in my live well till almost 11 o'clock. And then kind of figured out the right little region and then caught them for the rest of the day. So we'll probably drive right by those first three spots tomorrow. Let's bring out your leader in progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year points from Alabama, Stone Cold Kyle Welcher. Five fish here today for Kyle Welcher. Nineteen pounds, twelve ounces. He moves into twenty-fifth place. And does his job after day number one. Brandon Cobb, just over 20 pounds. So they are battling it out. And this just round one of the next few weeks of competition. And, man, did okay today. Yeah, d definitely kind of salvaged. You know, I had a really rough start to the morning. I actually didn't catch anything that I weighed in in the first, like, three and a half hours. And that's, that's not good when you're out there on a lake that's got so many three and a half pounders. But, you know, we ended up making an adjustment, and it kind of worked out. But, you know, I'm just ready to battle it out for, for three more and see how it shakes out. Keep it rolling. We'll see you back here tomorrow morning. Boats leave at 7 a.m.